not answer the bell. It is stopped in the corner. It'll go down as a TKO win for Saul Canelo Alvarez. Acting on the advice of Saunders Corner, the referee calls a halt to the contest. At the end of round eight, the winner by TKO victory, and now the unified super middleweight champion of the world, in Guadalajara, Jalisco, Mexico, Saul Canelo. He is the winner by TKO. They stopped it at the end of the round. Billy Joe Saunders corner, apparently, basically throwing in the towel. Nevertheless, a KO win for Canelo, just as he and his trainer, Eddie Reynoso, predicted. What kind of reaction will Billy Joe get back in England, Carl? Well, like I said, you have to, you have to take into account the fact that this guy doesn't pull out of fights. He's never lost. He's never shown any kind of quit in him for his whole career, amateur or professional. Let's see that stinging right uppercut there. Yeah, that was a side of the glove right into the eye. And that, that was the one that did the damage. That was a hurtful punch. And you see Billy there wincing almost straight away, closing that eye. Yeah, immediately it's it swelled up. Let's see as he walked to the corner what went down. Well, he'll be sitting in his corner thinking, I want to know what this eye looks like. So he'll, he'll get some advice off his cornerman. And then he'll be speaking back to him and just telling him, listen, my eye, I can't see. I can't see it or I'm in horrific pain. So this, you, you can worry about your vision and, you know, your eyes are important, believe it or not. So I'm hoping that he's done that just for his safety. And he, there really is a problem there because I'd hate to think that he gets accused of quitting. I wouldn't go as far as to call it a, a quitting. It was just another gear that was lacking. And uh, like you said, we don't know exactly how he feels or what's wrong with his eye. The eye is very dangerous, but we saw it in, that, in an earlier fight with the uppercut to the eye, and those are brutal shots. I mean, they're stinging shots. Let's hear now from the winner, Chris Mannix with Canelo Alvarez. Canelo, congratulations. You've got more hardware now than you can hold on to. You knew coming in, you knew coming in, this was going to be a difficult fight. How difficult was it? Well, you know, as I said beforehand, as I said beforehand, the fight was going to develop by the seventh, eighth round, it was going to develop, and that's what happened. But it's not as difficult as I expected, and that's where I take notice that my preparation is good and that I improve day by day. Did you feel like Billy Joe Saunders in those middle rounds was winning any of them? No, 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 no. La verdad es que los iba ganando round con round. La verdad es que como lo dije antes, la pelea, mi pelea iba a empezar después de sexto, séptimo, pero me fui acomodando muy rápido. No sabía que 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 esto se iba a dar. No, not at all. The, the fight, as I said, I was winning round by round. The truth is, as I told you, the fight, my fight, would develop after sixth or seventh round. But, you know, I started getting adjusted really quick. I knew that this was going to be the final outcome. You get to that last round. What was your reaction when Billy Joe Saunders did not leave the corner? Eh, la verdad es que lo sabía. Creo que le quebré el pómulo y sabía que ya no iba a salir. De hecho, llegué a la esquina y le dije a Eddie, ya no va a salir. Ya no va a salir a pelear porque le quebré el pómulo y así fue. You know, I knew it. Um, the truth is, I, I knew it. I think I broke his cheek. And I knew he wasn't going to come out. And I get to the corner, and I told Eddie he's not going out. He's not coming out to fight because I broke his cheek. And that was it. You have always had interesting game plans coming into fights. What was the game plan coming into this one? Aquí está Eddie. Aquí está el mejor entrenador que es la que me dice. Es el que me dice. Yo solo me preparo. Y tú me dices, haz esto y yo lo hago. I have the best trainer. I have the best trainer. And here's Eddie. This is the best trainer that I can have. You know, he's the one who tells me. I just prepare, and he tells me, do this, and I do it. 
You have the best trainer. As you acknowledge the crowd, you have the best trainer. You are the best fighter. And now you have three pieces of the 168 pound title. There's one more to go. Is Caleb Plant who you want next? That's the plan. That's the plan to go for, for the for the bell. And I'm coming, man. I'm coming, my friend. Do you think you can that do you think that fight can be made? I hope so. I hope the fight may easy and then give the fans that fight and the free Mexica unified fighter on the in the history. You've accomplished a lot in your career. Tonight, more than 70,000 people, an indoor record in the US, came here for you. What does that mean to you? Hey. Es algo, es algo muy difícil de explicar el sentimiento que siento por la gente. La gente, el apoyo que me da es la motivación para seguir mejorando. Esto es para ustedes. Es muy, es muy difícil explicar el sentimiento que siento. Pero solamente quiero decirle que muchas gracias a todos. De corazón, muchas gracias. It's something very difficult to explain. I just, I don't have words. The, the emotions that I feel for all the people that have come out and the love that they give me, the motivation that they give me to continue on. It's very difficult to explain the emotions that I feel in the moment. But I want to thank everyone. I want to thank everyone for coming out from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Congratulations, Canelo, and we'll see you in September. See you, my friend. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much. Gracias a todos. Viva México, cabrones! Well, that's how you celebrate Cinco de Mayo weekend. Absolutely. Viva Mexico mofos. Well, we are here with the man who can make the fight happen that Canelo wants. Eddie, you heard Canelo say, I want to be the unified super middleweight champion. Can you make that Caleb Plant fight happen? It's the only fight. You know, firstly, I want to thank everyone here tonight for coming out and breaking the record. You know, it's been incredible. Thank you to Jerry Jones and all the team at the AT&T Stadium. It's the only fight, Chris. And hopefully Caleb Plant feels the same way. I know you, go, you saw an interview the other day, didn't mention too much about Canelo, but listen, if we want to keep the great times coming in boxing, it's the undisputed, the first Mexican undisputed champion, 168 pounds. It's the one to make in September. Billy Joe Saunders is a warrior. You're his promoter. What do you make of him not coming out of the corner? No, he couldn't see. You know, I spoke to Mark Tibbs. He said he couldn't see and he wouldn't let him go out. I thought Billy boxed beautifully, but Canelo's so strong. He took his time. He, Billy's so tricky, but you know, he, he busted his eye socket. And then, uh, as you can see now, going back now, you can see his eye. And, uh, you know, Canelo coming on strong in the back end of the fight. Too good, too good. But it was a great performance from Billy Joe Saunders. He came to win. You know how difficult big fights are to make. How confident are you that you can make Canelo, Caleb Plant, and what's your first phone call on Monday? Well, listen, ultimately, Canelo Alvarez will fight absolutely anybody. You know who he wants to fight. He's told me who he wants to fight. Caleb Plant. It's over to Caleb Plant. We'll speak to their team. Wherever that has to take place, that's the fight that must happen for boxing. The undisputed championship at 168 pounds. And it's the must-make fight next. What's Caleb Plant going to do? Not being funny. Look at this. Look at this. This is a pound-for-pound -pound style, and, you know, him and AJ, the two big stars in the sport. We've got a good bit of news coming for you next week as well. He hasn't had to say this to you yet, but who's next? It's Caleb Plant. Guys? Thank you, Chris. I know a lot of people watching at home wondered what the scorecards read when that fight was stopped up. Got them right here. Gwyn Feldman had it 78-74 for Canelo. And had it 78-74 for Canelo. Tim Cheatham, 77-75 Canelo. And Max DeLuca also for Canelo, 78-74. So two judges gave two rounds to B.J. Saunders, Sergio, and one gave him three. I think uh, Billy Joe Saunders deserves a little bit more credit. It was a close fight. It was an entertaining fight. But we saw what happened here. The, the, this is the power that Canelo carries in those fists, and Saunders just couldn't take it. I mean, I don't go as far as to say that Saunders quit because he, he was in the fight. He retired. That's, that's the word. He retired in the stool because he couldn't continue, and we don't know what the injuries are in his eyes. Well, let's jump back into the highlights from this fight. It was probably a little more entertaining than most people thought it would be.
I thought it was entertaining because this is the fight. This is Billy Joe Saunders' MO as a southpaw to use his angles, to use his pivots. But Canelo was just landing some solid shots and those body shots. 